Welcome back, Glam Fam. It's your girl, Angela Denise, and I am here with you today with a Pat McGrath ranking video. In the spirit of Mothership 9 releasing, I wanted to come and show you all how I rank the previous eight in my collection. And I am so excited about today's video because I want to introduce more Pat McGrath content here on the channel. But before we get into it, Thank you all so much for joining me today. And I want to give a quick shout out to one of my OG subscribers, Beautiful Jess. Thank you, hon, for rocking with me on so many videos, commenting, live streams, all of the above. And the palettes are going to be ranked based off how creative I feel I can get with the palette, how the palette inspires me, and how often I reach for the palette. Now, I want to mention a couple of facts about Pat McGrath and her Mothership collection. Pat McGrath originally released her permanent collection back in September 2017 and that included Motherships 1, 2, and 3 and I believe Decadence was also included in that but it was a limited edition. Decadence went in and out of stock for a couple of years then it was released as part of the Star Wars collection and then it was released again I want to say in 2020 and that's when I picked it up and in my number eight spot is Decadence and I'm choosing Decadence for my number eight spot simply because um, it's not a standalone cohesive palette it's like an add-on palette your pop of color but honey the colors in here are stunning jaw dropping and I did have the gold packaging I believe that she released the gold and black I, I can't remember exactly but this did come back out in 2020 and my absolute favorite shades in this palette are the blue shades lapis luxury is one of the prettiest turquoise shades I have ever seen and Underworld. I've not even used Underworld on the eyes, but I think that it will be an absolutely beautiful color like to do a blue smoky eye with. I think it's absolutely stunning. And um, unfortunately, when I received this one, one of the shades did come broken. There aren't any special shades in this palette, but because I wanted to have the complete collection of motherships, I had to have this palette. And now my number seven palette is a palette that was released overseas first. I know that doesn't typically happen. Typically, the states get the motherships first and then it'll release over uh, seas like the UK. But this is a palette that I originally wasn't interested in, but the completionist in me had to have it. And I really did start looking at other people's review and I was like, okay, this is a good everyday, neutral, cool type of a palette. Now, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is the Mothership 7 Divine Rose 1. I don't know. It, this one doesn't really get my creative juices flowing. However, it is a beautiful palette. All of Pat McGrath's palettes are absolutely stunning. And so for that reason, it is in my number seven spot. And my absolute two favorite shades out of this palette definitely has to be Love Lace this beautiful shade right here it is stunning and my second shade would have to be the special shade out of this palette this is astral solstice they are absolutely divine okay so in my number six spot i kind of felt like things started to get really 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 hard for me and the next palette is a palette that i just got this year and it's one of the palettes that i got for my birthday to complete my pat mcgrath complexion <laughs> complexion um to complete my pat mcgrath collection and it is the pat mcgrath mothership one the very first mothership in her mothership range now again do you think it's kind of ridiculous to buy a palette for just one shade but when i originally seen this it didn't really kind of wow me or get my creative juices flowing however the blue in this palette is to die for the prettiest blue color that i believe on the market this is so stunning and honestly as I'm going through things, I didn't realize how much I like blue, but I, this color is everything. And my second favorite shade in this palette definitely has to be this Lilac Dusk. It is so pretty. I cannot wait this winter 
uh, for the winter time because I'm going to do at least two or three looks with this palette. I absolutely um, love this palette. Not necessarily a lover of cool tones, but this definitely gets my creative juices flowing. It gets me excited to create and I love it. And I'm so glad that I have this in my collection and this one is the palette that my husband actually got for me for my birthday my best friend got the other one that i'm going to mention here in a sec um but yeah love it and thanks babe for getting me this palette a little story time so i was originally introduced to pat mcgrath back in march 2018 when she launched her mini palettes because at the time i just couldn't see myself purchasing 125 dollars eyeshadow palette so the six pan palette was a little bit more digestible. It was like the bronze, what was it called? The bronze ambition. So I think it came out in 2018 and that's when I picked it up along with the Primer Precision eyeliner. So I picked it up and I fell in love. In my very first Mothership palette, which we will discuss here in a sec, um, I picked my very first Mothership palette up the very next month in April because I, I just I was in love I, I just wanted more Pat McGrath it was the best formulation that I had ever tried to date and still is in a lot of in a lot of ways even though Natasha Denona I think that there could be a debate between the mattes for me it would be the mattes Pat's mattes or Natasha's mattes yeah I said it I yeah in my number five spot it would have to be the palette that my best friend got me for my birthday this year. Number five would definitely have to be Mothership 2 Sublime. Now, the mini palette version of this or the companion palette to this is was my first Pat McGrath experience. Now, I absolutely love all of these palettes, but I love them for different reasons. Now, in this palette, the jaw dropper obviously has to be the green. For me, I love green and I love blue. I love purple. Perhaps I just love eyeshadows. I don't know, but this is so pretty to me. And my absolute favorite shade is definitely Blitz Emerald. It is a stunning shade. And then of course, right up under it, this bronze 005 shade everything and another thing that i'm starting to notice is that the shades with 005 are crazy number four right let's just talk about it it's actually the palette that i have on my eyes right now this is like woman of color friendly fall period just fall in a palette and this is mothership six midnight sun I love this palette and I don't know why, but I just don't use it that much. But these colors, every single color in here, every single shade is impeccable. The pigmentation in the brown shades are some of my favorite out of all of Pat McGrath Mothership palettes. And this one was released in like August, September, 2019. And I did not pick this up it, like right when it was released, but shortly after I picked it up. And I do believe I shared it on my channel, but honey, this palette is absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite shades in this palette is Vermilion Venom, that burgundy-ish brown color. It's one of my favorite Pat McGrath brown shades, period. And I can't wait to share this look that I created with you um, because I just sat down and I freestyled and it came out really good. Um, yeah, so Vermilion Venom and let me see. Vermilion Venom and Blood Moon 005, this shade here. You guys, the 005 shades, like I mentioned, are stellar. I, I'm just getting excited just talking about Pat McGrath. I cannot wait to get my new palette in, um, by the way. And yeah. You guys let me know if you picked it up. In my number three spot is a palette that I got. This is my first Mothership palette. And if you've been watching my channel, you know what my first Mothership palette was. Released a part of her, uh, as part of her original core collection. This one I picked up in April, 2018. And wow, this is Mothership 3 Subversive. And 
the purple, hands down. Probably my favorite purple that Pat McGrath has. She doesn't have too many, but this purple is crazy. And the color that I was drawn to when I first got this palette was Gigabyte. I have done a tutorial using Gigabyte. Um, and again, these tutorials are years old because it was when I first got the palette. I love both of those shades. They are to die for. And anytime I wear either of those shades, people stop me. People ask, what is that on your eyes? Pat McGrath does it with her metallics, her dual chromes, her trio chromes. I feel like I like hers the best when it comes to mattes. Natasha Denona, Natasha Denona is holding it down for me with the mattes. And it's tough for me to say because I am a lover of Pat McGrath, but that's just kind of where I am. You guys weigh in, let me know what you think. And my number two spot is a palette that just kind of exploded the internet because of this particular shade um, that is in this palette. Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction is in my number two spot. It was released September 2018 and I did pick this one up as soon as it was released and this palette was in my number one spot for the longest time until this next one in my number one spot came out. But Blitz Flame. I mean, Blitz Flame. And then again with the 005s, this Rose Gold 005 is one of my favorite pink shades, my favorite pink shadows, period, from Pat McGrath. Um, the pigmentation on the mattes, the uh, metallics, every shadow in this palette is the bomb. Still would love to see a palette full of special shades. Now, I'm pretty sure that might cost us more than 125, but I don't care, I'm buying it. Last but not least, in my number one spot is a palette that I have been mentioning here on the channel um, over the last year. This is Mothership 8 Divine Rose 2. The imagery. Pat McGrath is just number one when it comes to packaging and imagery for her brand. And Mothership 8 is everything to me because like, look, this here is like your everyday wearable. Everyday wearable, flexible, shades these creative i can do so much with this palette and wear it every day i love the pinks i love the brown shades i actually have been using these shade this shade here is a blush i love it i love this palette i am obsessed with this palette i am not over it yet and i am very eager to see if Mothership 9 would dethrone Mothership 8. We shall see. I'm excited. And hands down, the number one shade, it's actually not hands down because it's, it's a hard, it's a toss up between Rose Seduction, which is absolutely gorgeous, and VR Sex Terrestrial. It's a tongue twister. But these two shades are hands down jaw droppers, um, I have nothing like them in my collection. Sex Terrestrial is a trio chrome. It is absolutely beautiful. The, the, the shift is to die for. And I just love it. Pat McGrath is probably my favorite brand. And it was love at first swatch from the very first six pan palette that I purchased. Um, but yeah, I am so excited to bring you guys more Pat McGrath content here on the channel because for the amount of love that I have for Pat McGrath, I feel like I don't share her uh, products enough on my channel. So we're going to incorporate more. So if you all are wondering how I created this look, let's go ahead and dive right into it. I have decided that I was going to create a tutorial on Midnight Sun because I don't believe that I've done this palette on my channel. My other top four palettes I have. So Midnight Sun, in the spirit of fall approaching, we're going to do a look with this palette. And I think that it's absolutely gorgeous. Today, I'm going to be taking my Crease Pro and I'm going to be picking up the shade Extreme Dust. She is very pigmented and just taking it on the outer corner. 
does not have to be perfect right now. Then I'm going to take my Blender Pro from Sonya G. I'm going to pick up Vermilion Venom. It's beautiful. I, and I actually want to dilute it, at least at first, with a little bit of Taboo. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my MAC 224 uh, brush and I'm just going to, no, no product, um, I'm just softening the edges here. Just soften it up. All right, back to this Crease Pro um, in Extreme Dust. Picking up the tiniest amount because this is very pigmented, this color. All right. So I wanna take a little bit of my Too Faced Glitter Glue and this is just to give, um, create a tacky base. I'm just gonna pat that on the lid. Then I'm gonna take my Sonya G Builder Pro and I'm gonna go in Blood Moon 005 and I'm gonna pack that on the lid. All right, back to my Builder Pro. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Vermilion Venom. Again, a little bit because the color is so pigmented. Let's go ahead and pick up a Worker Pro from Sonya G, and this is Skin Show Moon Glow. This is actually from the Sephora collection. This is Coco, a pencil brush. And I wanna take Vermilion Venom. Okay, and let's repeat. All right, so let me go ahead and apply mascara and the lash and I'll be right back. Okay, Glam Fam, this is the finished look. This is the tutorial, the look that I came up with using Midnight Sun. I absolutely love the way it came out. Um, this Blood Moon Copper Shade, I'm living for it. Fall is almost here, so I thought I'd get a jump start on fall looks for you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This was super fun. Please comment down below letting me know what is your favorite Mothership palette, and I will see you all in the very next video. Bye.